Alright guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good three day weekend. Let's do a quick review. First thing I want you to do is make sure you put your name and the date in whatever class you're in. Whatever class. So like cohort five, cohort six, etc. The first thing we're going to do is just put together the things that are the same. So I have X's here. When the bases are multiplied, the powers add. The three stays. This is like two take away one. What's two take away one? Hopefully everybody knows it's just one. We don't have to write that one. On the star, they will not write it. And that's it. On this one, we need to add in the power of one there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom in a little bit. We need to add that one in so that we can add those together. Now the three stays the same. The base doesn't change, and those add. And we're done. Here we're going to throw a one on the three, and we're going to multiply. We could be done, but this is pretty easy to simplify. It just means three times three times three. which is 27. If you're not sure how I went from here to here, go ahead and whip out your calculator and either put this in or do this the long way. First thing I do when I see a fraction is I start using my organizer. Numbers, first letter, second letter, number, letter, letter. Notice that the X's are lined up and the Y's are lined up and the numbers are lined up. I'm going to simplify um, each box individually. 4 divided by 2, I'm going to put it on top, is just 2, and it would be on top. I need to subtract. There's more on bottom, so the x is going to stay on the bottom. 3 take away 1 is just 2. I'm going to subtract. There's more on top, so 4 take away 2 is 2. This is the right answer. It just doesn't, it's not quite written neatly. Make sure when you're writing it, notice that if I were to draw a little t-chart, that the two should be high and to the side of both letters. Also notice this coefficient of two is much larger, almost twice as big as the power. Number five. All right, there's a lot of things going on, so let's remember PEMDAS. We're going to do the parentheses first. Is there anything I can do inside here? No, because those are different letters. So I've done the parentheses. The next thing I'm going to deal with is the exponent. So this power, I'm going to go ahead and multiply through. A to the 6, B to the 6. And everything else I'm going to bring down, except for I'm not going to bother with the zero one. And now I'm just going to put together all the A's. So I've got six and two twos. That's ten. And I'm done. I know I'm done when I have only one group of every letter. So I don't have A's in multiple places. I just have one group of all the A's. I have one group of all the B's. And I'm done. Again, we're going to do PEMDAS. Inside the parentheses, yeah, that's going to change to just be a 1. So this is like 2 to the negative 3, 2 to the negative 4, 1 squared. Well, 1 to any power is just 1, so goodbye. And I'm going to add those, 2 to the negative 7, and then remember to rewrite it as a fraction to get rid of the exponent. Oh, sorry, to get rid of the negative exponent. Again, I'm going to use PEMDAS. Inside the parentheses, nothing I can do. So, uh, well, I'm going to simplify all these zeros. Anything to the zero power just cancels out. And then I would have 2y x squared over... <coughs> Excuse me. 2 to the 4th. 
we're basically done. The X's and the Y's are good, but the numbers are not. I'm going to set up a little organizer to help you see. We're going to subtract the powers. 4 take away 1. I just reordered the letters because it's always in alphabetical order. That's how they're supposed to be is alphabetical. 4 take away 1 is just 3. So this would be the same thing as x squared y over 8. And how they're more likely to write it is 1 over 8 x squared y. Same thing. Make sure you're writing neatly and we can read it. Power of 1. Add. Subtract. Done. Now you got to remember this. You're gonna remember it's menu two, three. Menu two, three. It's gonna say factor, and I'm gonna put in just the number on the inside. Two nine three. Oh, sorry, three nine two. Two to the third, seven squared. Keep your radical. We're going to write out what this means. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Make sure you have your dots. Oh, apologies. This should be a 2. So I need to circle up groups of 2. Everything with a group comes outside. So I'm going to have 2 times 7 on the outside, and this one doesn't have a friend, so he's stuck on the inside. That's it on this one. We're going to do the same thing here. Two to the seventh and three. And don't forget the x squared has to come too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, seven is a two. Three, and then two x's. I'm doing two x's because it was to the power two. So I'm going to group it up. One, two, three. There we go. So I've got one, two, three twos on the outside. I'm going to write over here. One, two, three twos on the outside, one X on the outside, and a two and a three on the inside. Two times two times two is eight. And that is six. I'm going to just write it one more time a little bit clearer. Not your answer. Thank you.